Yo, what's good? It's your boy Lesser Power. Welcome to another Remnant 2 build video. Today I'm bringing you my ultimate handler DPS build using the Corrupted Savior. I can't even lie, I've been sleeping on Handler, man. Handler is absolutely OP. It gives you more support and survivability um, at the cost of little DPS compared to Gunslinger. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the build. Alright, first we're going to be starting off with the traits as always. First we got ammo reserves at level 10 so you don't run out of ammo. Um, next we got fortify at level 10. We got kinship at level 10 and this works perfect with the atonement fold ring because the atonement fold ring inflicts bleed upon yourself and this reduces the bleed by 80% which is great so you barely notice it. Next we got long shot at level 10 and then we got regrowth at level 10 so now you can actually notice your region because we have kinship on the setup. Um, next we got expertise at level 10 we got spirit at level 0 because we're not using the uh, mod on the corrupted savior endurance at level 2 vigor at level 10 we got swiftness at level 10 this gives you 15% increased movement speed which is great then we got handling at level 10 and this is going to reduce the recoil on the corrupted savior we got siphoner at level 10 and then we got footwork at level 8 all right, next we're gonna knock out the archetypes. As you can see, I'm running Hunter. Hunter is gonna give you the most uh, DPS damage possible in the game. So before we go over the uh, skills, I wanna knock out the perk. Dead Eye is gonna give you 40% range damage and 15% weak spot damage. And you also get 5% critical hit chance. But if you take a look at Hunter's focus, you also get uh, reduced weapon spread, recoil and sway by 50%. And then you get 25% range weak spot damage and you also get 10% critical hit chance and then for our prime perk we're running dead to rights just so you can keep your hunter skills up for our next archetype we're actually running handler and the best thing about handler is you can switch the skills on the fly all of these are basically just support skills the first skill is attack dog when you use this it basically gives you 20% all damage and the next skill is support dog so if you want to swap it up and get some regen support dog actually gives you regen 2% of your max health per second and then you also get 25% increased movement speed and the next skill is guard dog so basically this gives the dog 15% increased threat so it basically makes the enemies attack the dog more instead of attacking you all right next i'm gonna knock out the concoction i'm actually running the tranquility front this is going to reduce the recoil by 25 percent for the armor we got the crown of the red prince we got the little mark one armor we got the high noon souls and we got the little mark two gloves for the relic we're running the shielded heart on use grants the shield for 100 percent of your max health we got mythic range critical hit chance mythic range critical hit damage and mythic range rate of fire Next for our main gun, we're using the Corrupted Savior plus 10. It's hitting at 51 damage. The mod is Fusion Cannon. You don't want to use the mod at all. You want to make sure the mod stays at max stacks because the higher your stacks, the higher your rate of fire. So keep it at max stacks. Do not use the mod. We got Momentum plus 10. This is going to give you up to 30% critical hit chance and 30% critical hit damage. Next, we got the Hunter Spear plus 20. This weapon can now apply corrosive whenever you hit a target for 5 seconds and we're running Edge Lords plus 10. Increases melee charge speed by 35% um, and increase melee attack speed by 15% and then you gain 3% base charge melee damage dealt as lifesteal. Uh, next we got the double barrel plus 20 with the song of Ether and prophecy plus 10 just to generate a little bit of extra mod power and then song of Ether also gives you extra damage reduction. Um, next for the ring we're running the burden of destroyer this is going to increase all damage dealt by 15% also whenever you fight an enemy with a huge weak spot you want to swap this out for the ring of flawed beauty to get that extra weak spot damage next we got Zania's malice giving you up to 30% weak spot damage then we got the probability core giving you 30% crit hit damage and then we got the atonement full ring this inflicts bleed upon yourself activate activating the night weaver's grudge and giving you 10% critical hit chance 
Um, and next we got the Night Reaver's Grudge. This is going to give you 20% critical hit chance and haste whenever an entity is suffering from a status effect that's 15 meters close to you. But that's the whole build. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys for coming through. Deuces.